right, I'm here with Lathan head basketball coach Clint Wright Sr. His Cavaliers won at 77 to 62 over Nas River to improve to, I believe, six and two overall. Six and two this correct. season. I got it wrong on Twitter last night, but oh well. Um, you guys get a bounce back off to the, the tough loss to John Champ yesterday. This game was back and forth, seesaw fair, much as it is with Lakeland and Nansman or right. any of the Suffolk schools. Right. What enabled you guys to pull away late third, early fourth quarter? I just think we made more key plays. Um, definitely, uh, we had some issues in the beginning of the first half where we kind of played flat. Uh, wasn't really involved. I think they lost them last night. We had some lagging, residual effects. Then we realized we were playing the answer. Uh, a local team, a rival team, and I had some choice words for them in the second half where well, I had time, and then we came out and responded favorably. Um, really wanted to get Cam involved. Uh, he had shown signs in practice about his ability to play on the low post, and that wasn't the, uh, the result as of on tonight. But knowing that uh, Nansen is never going to back down, uh, we had to make key shots, and we had some key steals in that second half. Let's talk about those two unsung senior heroes for you. We know about Clint Wright Jr., Kamari Artis, Ray Billman, kind of that three-headed trio for you. Those guys give you 12 points apiece. I thought Saunders' dunk and energy really ignited your guys coming off the pond. You know, there is no matching for Devontae's energy. Um, we, at times in practice, have to actually dial them down. Um, he can get even more, you know, uh, open with it. Um, there are times he takes some ill-advised shots, but, you know, Devontae has put in enough deposits, you know, to take out a withdrawal. And then Cam, he's always been the quiet thunder, you know, has the ability, has the capacity to do, you know, those intangibles, and then tonight is what you get in that result. I think for the game, both teams had seven three-pointers apiece. They obviously got some big makes from uh, Justin Bobbley. Um, tell me, what was the rebounding thing you guys kind of focused on a half time the locker room? Or? Well, one of the things we have to assume all the time is that teams are going to miss. Mm -hmm. that, that is our focus. we got to assume sometimes when you shoot the ball very well, you tend to not want to go for a rebound. So we felt like if they were going to miss, that we were going to get the rebound and be able to run out uh, on them. And we did just that. We saw them on the night before versus uh, Kings Fork, and they had 78 points, which is a lot of points, you know, to have. But we had to focus on rebounds, and I think that's what Devontae, who's about 5'11", you know, probably led us in rebounds. Mm -hmm. Bellamy, 13 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists, almost gets a triple-double. I mean, we've talked about it before, he's a facilitator, but it feels like every time the ball's in his hands, he's going to make a winning type play. Definitely great things happen when Ray gets the basketball. Sometimes he, he relaxes just a little bit, and we want him to play at next level. You know, Division One basketball players are playing at that level all the time, not a partial amount of the time, and Ray does that, you know, but we want him to be even more enhanced in the lead on the ball club. Mm -hmm. Last year you get this one a second over to them. You'll see them again. You still got two meetings with Kingsport. I know your guys were anxious to get that opportunity yeah, to play them yeah, in the yeah, championship yeah. game. But coming off last night's game, um, what did you learn about your team today? Because it could have it could have lingered into a loss today, right? You know, a couple a couple games. I mean, a couple plays with uh, uh, John Champ. You know, a fingernail, a slip of a pass, a, a turnover here, a turnover there. We could have scored the most points in that game. You know, my thing is as a team is how do you respond in a moment of adversity? You know, how do you respond when things are going down? You know, I thought we did that. Again, first and second, the first half of this game, you know, we were a little flat. We were a little bit like, man, we should be playing an 8 o'clock game, but we couldn't do that. But we did respond favorably, and I'm really appreciative of the way they did that. Well, it's enough to keep your guys hungry, like, hey, this is what we can be. Let's get there by late February, early March. Well, you know, that's the goal. You know, we've all got goals in, in the city of Suffolk. We're at 3A, uh, Kingsport's at 4, Nansman at 5. You know, our goal is still intact, so we're yeah. still super excited. We're not going to let a loss here or there. And guess what? We're going to lose another game. But as long as our goal is intact, we're going to definitely be hungry to play basketball. Congrats on the win, and we'll see you again in 2020. Awesome. Thank you very much.